Welcome to the video. This is Eric Fedko, and this is Emil Johansson. They are both dope mountain bikers. This series is about them, how, where and why they mountain bike. We follow them as they go to different competitions, check out radical bike spots, and lay down dope bangers. This series is called Raising the Bar. We hope you enjoy. It is around 8 a.m. the 2nd of October 2021 and the boys are getting ready to send for the Crankworks BC Mountain Bike Competition. Afterwards, they will split paths on separate missions around British Columbia before they travel 11,391 kilometers to Rotorua, New Zealand for the final stop of the FMB World Tour. But first, let's send it. Hard to tell if we're gonna go ride skis or bikes. The day of finals. It is slope style time, my friends. We're hanging out in BC, the birthplace of Frank Parkson, who started out the season just off the podium. But he knows what it takes to get on the podium. He has four third places. He's looking to crack into the top two. Eric Fedko looking to get back on that podium. Here he comes. Yes. Big Indian sea crab. Three up the, and Come it, on. Was that three? That was three. Triple, Triple truck. truck out. Yeah, he came through when he came out this morning. Bar. Oh, oh, come on. What was that? No way. 360 bar whip bar. How did he sneak that bar spin in? That was unbelievable, Cam. <laughs> Bedko on a tear right now. Big oppo three. He knows what he's got going, so he's going to keep pushing. Oh, there it is. Big windshield wiper 360. That's the new trick I was talking about. 360 windshield wiper straight to pedals. Bar X up three in. This is going to be it. This could be a huge score if he can stomp this last jump. Eric Fedko, backflip, bar spin and tilt. Perfect to pedals. Oh my. Come on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that is good. That has got to be his dream run right there. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you can see the emotions coming out. He's probably been thinking about that run since he saw this course on paper. Just as curious as you at home to find out what this score is going to be. A 91.66. First <laughs> score of the day in the 90s. <laughs> We're into the 90s, folks. The judges saw what we saw. That was an amazing, <laughs> stylish, huge, amazing run. In the hot seat. The first I can't believe it worked out. Oh my god. Emil Johansson with a dialed setup right there. The only slope style competitor to win four in a row Crankworx slope styles. And he's looking to make it five in a row. This would be one for the history books if he's able to stomp this wrong. We've been watching him in practice. And it all comes down to this. MJ on course. Big three oh. double down whip. Huge oppo <laughs> truck to downside tail whip. So much amplitude. Big, but it's almost like he's riding a different course. He's going about two or three feet higher than everybody. I don't know where he's getting the speed, but he's making it work for him. Emil Johansson setting up for the flat drop. Yes. Big oppo three tuck no hander. Oh! Oppo three double. When we say oppo, that's like trying to write your name with your opposite hand. But he's doing it. He's going both ways. Big flat drop back flip. What's it gonna be? One last jump here for Emil Johansson. Oh! Yes! <laughs> I've never even seen that before. 360 bar to double downside tail whip to put an exclamation point at the end of this run. He does it again, man. What's the score gonna be here? That was excellent. So Score to beat a 91.66 from Eric Fedko. Emil Johansson scores a 95. He is in the lead. Look at this guy. So I can't even imagine trying to squeeze anything more into that run. And as we see what's going on right now, Eric Fedko is going to stick with that 91.66 from run number one. This is going to be a tandem victory lap here for your silver and gold medal winners. So this will be one to enjoy from the comfort of your home right now. Two of the most stylish riders in the game right now, Eric Fedko, your second place finisher today. And the man making it five in a row. Absolutely unstoppable since he started winning on this world tour. Ugh.
Holy shit. First and second place for Eric and Emil. A new trick for Eric and more minds blown by Emil. A good excuse to spray some beer on each other just for the hell of it. Now the boys must split ways. Emil heads to Vancouver Island to finally complete a project which was planned two years ago with filmmaker Rupert. Meanwhile Eric heads out on a classic camper van road trip with his friend Lucas. Time to go out for a rip. You guys headed out? Yeah. See ya. We are in Kamloops and we are going to ride some big bikes. Can we stay too? We are about to hit the jump line. It's not windy today. We're so lucky. This is the actual dream. Meanwhile, on Vancouver Island. Well, right now we're heading out to this jump zone called Spooks. And we're gonna go try and see if Emil can get a few lines on it. It's so beautiful in here. All right, sick. Oh yeah, watch me how I ball, watch you angels fall, yeah. I've been on my grind, seen them win it all, oh, yeah. They hate it when I shine, I'm like, give me mine, yeah. I see you when I win on my ring, but you when I win on my team, yeah. It's raining a bit out at the moment. It's been raining overnight, so we're gonna go ride and shoot some downhill riding. Work. I like to is win. I'm gonna raise the trophy up once again. You did all you could, but you're gonna have to Drop try again next year. Fucking hell, dude. I smacked my head really hard. Yeah, like really hard. It started out well, but it didn't end well. So on day two, Emil drops into the downhill trail, crashes, hits his head, shoots done. Approximately 200 kilometers to the east, Eric's road trip continues. We're here at the famous River Jumps in Whistler and we're just having fun cruising the trails and yeah, just enjoy the beautiful weather. Yo bro, how's it going? How's the island? I hope you're doing good. Super hyped to be back in Whistler and yeah, see you soon in the airport. Yo dude, uh, so I had a crash the other day and haven't, we haven't been able to film since. So I'm just trying to enjoy the island the best I can. And yeah, I will see you at the airport on Saturday. Have fun, peace. Welcome to Rotorua. After two very boring weeks of being stuck in quarantine in New Zealand, Eric and Emil are finally free. Time to get ready for the final stop of Crankworks.
this can't be real. Like, arrived Monday, Tuesday, perfect day of practice. No wind at all. Wednesday, Thursday, no practice. <laughs> Today, too windy again. Just super boring, sitting around waiting for the, the weather to clear up, hopefully, but it's not looking too good at the moment. That's for sure. to check in for a free whip to downside whip. Landed on my pedal, slip pedal. I will check now if I can ride, because I can't really walk. From my feeling now, I think I'm just gonna keep it safe and do a chill run, because it's just not ideal, you know? Welcome to the final stop of the Crankworx World Tour. Eric Fedko will go first. Free whipped out, perfect pedals. Looking so, so smooth. Free steezing it out. Free super seat. Oh, the style. Oh, needed to find the pedals late there. Oh, I just, yeah, just didn't quite get those pedals there. He'll be disappointed, but he's riding away clean, one piece. Didn't have the pedals and he was going off a 6.3 metre drop. Smart move though, we wouldn't want to see him come up short, it's so smart to pull out. We're already into the drama. Nikolai Rogatkin is in first place with 92 points. One rider left to drop and it is Emil Johansson. Has two of three wins this season. His first run, his first attempt at the Triple Crown. Three bar down whip, land and perfect. Immaculate as ever. Three bar and turn down. Getting the combos in there. Oppo triple. Ooh, oh. A little bit harsh, but oh. Double work there on the hip. So just proving he can bar do it each way. Nolly three down. Oppo three bar up. It's a flip down, showing he's got all the tricks there. Big three one can, slowing it down there at the end. It's a three, opposite three, opposite double whip. And it's, it's such a different style of riding to Rogatkin. It's so, so technical. Where's the score going? 95.75. <laughs> he has one hand on that trophy in front of him. The triple crown is just meters away from him. Every rider has one run to try and stop him doing it. Can we please clear the course? So you can hear the marshals clearing the course out. Eric Fedko is in position. Now I've been told that he can go, and he's dropping it. Same start there, big three whip start off with. Big three, not quite as stylish as before. This is a three super seat indie, the signature. Three bar whip, landing way cleaner than the first one. Up there, we nolly three up. Bar to T-bog down actually, three T-bog up. Truck to X down. He's got to get this speed right here. Plenty of the big backy on the long and low. On to the three wood finish. We know he wanted more there. And the body language says everything. It was good, but it wasn't great. But for himself, he'd know he's got more, but he's got to be stoked to get to the bottom. This is a status update. Emil currently sits in first place and the triple crown is within his grasp. But the current owner of the Crankworks Triple Crown, Nikoli Rogatkin, is hot on his heels. Even though they are good mates, Nikoli will not give up the crown so easily. He is dropping next, and he is well known for going absolutely ham. So we have two riders left to drop, Nikolai Rogatkin and Emil Johansson. But we heard him bill it. This is the run of doom. Can he stretch it out? Will the run of doom give him three and a half points and allow him to reel in Emil Johansson and spoil the Triple Crown party? So dropping here, starting off the same. Cork 7, perfect landing again. Mechanical on those. And the huge motor on start. Superman single one-hander, cranking in. 
Western. So already we've got more risk, more technicality at the top of the course. Three X down. Superman, Superman oh! Frontier! No! Oh my goodness! So close to landing then as well. Emil Johansson knows what this means. That was a huge Jeez. run, Connor. That was absolute madness. Doing a Superman front flip on a long and low like that is insane. Ridiculous. And you can see the frustration in the body language from Nikolai Ragankin. Absolute madness. Oh, honestly, I've got, I've got goosebumps just thinking about what that score could have been. But it means that this is a victory lap for Emil Johansson. There will be two names on the Triple Crown Trophy. Emil Johansson, the 23-year-old seed who has dominated Slopestyle so consummately over the last two seasons, will win all three Crankworks events in 2021. This is a dangerous run. You can see it's sinking in for him. Just enjoying the moment. <laughs> well, no, I think he's sinking in. He's kind of ridden a bit. Now he's realized once again, I'm a Triple Crown winner. More relief, isn't Just it? Just dropping down into this natural amphitheater. Here all the boys come out to celebrate. Oh, and he's spit out. Up. And it's a pile on. Emilio Hansen is a Triple Crown winner. He this is our winner here in Rotorua. The only previous winner of the Triple Crown hands it over to Emilio Hansen. Holy smokes, another major roller coaster ride. Not only did Emil Johansson just win the event, but it was a record. The sixth consecutive Crankworks gold. Add to that the FMB World Tour Championship win, as well as the coveted Crankworks Triple Crown. It's safe to say that Emil is well on his way to becoming a mountain bike icon. Eric Fedko didn't quite experience a fairy tale ending. After injuring his ankle just before finals, Eric was forced to play it mellow. Although mellow for Eric is still quite ridiculous for us mere mortals. Shit happens, as they say, and Eric was super stoked for his friend Emil. Eric managed to get third place in the final FMB World Tour rankings, which is very much something to be proud of. Let's catch up with the boys once again. This is the final interlude. Give us a clap. It's been a long season. How are you feeling? Great. <laughs> Great. Dude, your season was insane. <laughs> you won every single contest. It's crazy. pretty crazy. It's big. It's too big to grasp. So, I will have to let it sink in for a bit. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, but it was really good. Like, I really enjoyed the season. I enjoyed riding the contests again. I really enjoyed hanging out with with all the boys and... Well, it's been a cool year. It's been like, felt really cool to be like reunited again, I think. Yeah, can't wait for next year, but now it's chill time, man. Yeah. I don't know if this will be an end of the series, but like I just hope people enjoy following us along for the season, really. Yeah. It's been, we have had a lot of good times, so if we could bring some joy to people's lives through this series and inspire youth just getting out and about riding bikes, doing their thing, it's sick. Yeah. Because that's what we grew up watching. It's, it's a childhood dream, like it's like kind of like, if someone would have told me when I was 10 that like one day I would have my own series together with a friend of mine riding bikes, doing our thing and this and that, it's, uh, I'm not sure I would have believed it. The series is called Raising the Bar. Do you guys think you've raised the bar? I think we did, actually. Yeah, it's been pretty good. Successful slope style season, both of us.
It's all like a film yeah. first. Like, mm, <laughs> mm. Yeah, you're gonna give Rice the bar. Yes, we did. <laughs> yeah, well, it's been a good year. Well, I guess there is nothing left to say other than thank you for watching, and goodbye.